Hi everybody, I'm Lee of CJ Drill, and if you've got an ugly, unsightly ceiling, you want to do something about it? Today is the day. This is the video you want to watch. We're going to do something called a textured ceiling, and we're going to use a special tool to accomplish that that's going to cut the time in half that it would normally take. And you're going to wind up with a ceiling that looks like this. So let's get started. Okay, so these are the tools that you're going to need. You're just going to need a standard uh, roller handle. Then you need a roller sleeve. And the thing about the sleeve is to make certain that it's at least a half inch nap. Now, what is the nap? The nap is the thickness that covers the roller. So you want to go with a half inch because you're going to really need something that's going to really hold the joint compound. Now the next thing you want is you want a paintbrush with a long handle. You'll see later how that comes in handy. And then the last thing, which is the most important thing, is the textured roller. Now chances are you've never seen one of these things before probably use the old-fashioned way of stomping a ceiling with a pole and a brush. Well, let me tell you something. That's, it just doesn't do a consistent pattern when you're using um, a stucco brush. And they develop these rollers because the rollers leave a seamless, consistent pattern. And believe it or not, it goes 10 times as quick. Now we're gonna do a ceiling today and maybe, maybe it will take us 30 minutes at the most to complete. Doing it the old fashioned way, it would take you at least an hour. Okay, so what we have here is we have a drill with a mixing wand attachment and the material we're gonna mix is, believe it or not, just joint compound. You wanna add enough water to it so that you can roll it on. Well, what's enough water, you may be asking. Well, you're going to have to eyeball it, but I'm going to mix up this pell so you can see what the consistency is. Now, before you start mixing with any drill and paddle, it's always a good idea that you put your foot right on the top of the five-gallon bucket because it's going to keep the bucket from spinning on you. Okay, so this is the consistency you want. You want you want it to look like icing, thick icing. So I'm going to take the roller and I'm just going to submerge it in the joint count something like that. You only want it, what you want is you want to cover the roller completely, okay? Cover the roller completely. Tap the side, make certain that excess joint compound is off so you don't get big cow pies on the floor, all right? So we've got our joint compound on our roller. Now we're going to apply it to the ceiling. You just basically want to get that mud up there. So now what you want to do is you want to do it in sections and do a third, no more than a third of the ceiling at a time. Roll the texture on first, okay? Then what you want to do is you want to go back over it just with the regular nap roller and distribute the uh, joint compound evenly. Now my mud is up there. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go back and forth, get it, distribute it nice and evenly. Because you don't want areas that are heavy and areas that are light. So if you go back over it, it's gonna give you a nice consistent pattern when it's time to put the pattern in. Now the reason why you do one third ceiling at a time is because you don't want the joint compound to start drying on you. Okay, so now it's time to put the pattern in. When you put the pattern in, then, it's very important. You can only roll the textured roller in one direction. You want to start in the angle. Of course, the angle is the corner of the room. Put the tip, my roller, against, against that angle, okay? And now I'm going to apply the pattern. The way you do that is you just roll it out. But try to stay as straight as you possibly can. Now you want to overlap, just maybe a fraction of an inch, okay? But don't leave a gap. You want to overlap, I would have overlap maybe half an inch, and it just, again, just go in that same direction. And you keep continuing the process. Overlap, and roll in your pattern. Now 
now is time, we're going to use this brush here, dip it in some water, and it's time to clean the excess joint compound from the corners, from the angles. So we're all done. It's finished. And for the cost of a pail, a joint compound, and that special roller that I showed you, you can have a beautiful ceiling. A beautiful ceiling with very little work. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.